help us build an Islamic studio at www.islamicstudio.org. Link in the description. One of the main reasons we perform the ibadat is to gain Allah's pleasure, is to gain the rida of Allah Azza wa Jal. And it will be great if we can find out if Allah is pleased with me or not. Today, inshallah ta'ala, we will mention four signs that will indicate that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is pleased with his abd. But before that, we have to know that only Allah knows whom he is pleased with and whom he is not. So we can't go around and say, Allah is pleased with this guy and Allah is not pleased with that guy. No, this is not our job. This is only known to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But these are just signs. If someone have them, inshallah ta'ala, we hope that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is pleased with him or her. So let's start with the first sign. The first sign is a saying in Arabic and I will mention it first in Arabic and then we will translate it. Our scholars said, إِذَا أَرَدْتَ أَن تَعْرِفْ عِنْدَ اللَّهِ مَقَامَكَ فَانْظُرْ فِيمَا أَقَامَكَ It's a profound statement. The ulama said, if you want to know your status with Allah, look what Allah made you busy with. So if we, I want to know if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is pleased with me, then let's check what am I busy with during the day, during my life, while I am above this ground, while am I on this earth. This is a, the formula that always works. Now, for example, I am recording a talk to bring the people close to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. At the same time, I'm sure there are people recording something that will take the people away from Allah Azza wa Jal. That's a good sign that I am, whatever I'm doing right now is something good, that Allah is keeping me busy with something good. Similarly, you have found this video and you clicked on it to see if Allah is pleased with you or not. Right? So you are also busy with something that is beneficial and that's a good sign that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is pleased with you. And we evaluate ourselves, what and where we spend most of our time. If our salat is on time, we lower our gaze when we see something haram, we attend talks in the masjid, we attend halaqas, we put effort to learn how to read the Quran, we, um, uh, we find ourselves hurt when we hear about the, the hardships that our brothers and sisters are going through uh, all over the world. We are pleasing to our parents. Uh, the sister wear her hijab, a proper hijab. Huh? We volunteer in the masjid or volunteer for any kind of humane uh, reasons. Huh? SubhanAllah, all these are great signs that Allah is pleased with you because He kept you busy with things that are pleasing to Him. He kept you busy with things that are pleasing to him. If I remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala constantly, if I read the Quran on a, on a regular basis, if I uh, always be honest in my businesses, in my dealings, I am always respectful to others. All these are great signs that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is pleased with you. And uh, 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 the sign, if you want to summarize this, when Allah make it easy for you to perform the ibadat, that's a major sign that Allah is pleased with you. When Allah makes it easy for you to fast Monday and Thursday, when Allah makes it easy for you to perform qiyam, when Allah makes it easy for you to come and attend uh, salawat in the masjid in jama'ah, when Allah makes it easy for you to wear the hijab properly, when Allah makes it easy for you to read the Quran or to be among the righteous people, all these are signs that Allah is pleased with you. That is the first sign. Second, another sign that Allah is pleased with us is to ask ourselves, Am I pleased with Allah? What? <laughs> yes. In the Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, رَضِيَ اللَّهُ عَنْهُمْ وَرَضُوا عَنْهُ Allah is pleased with them and they are pleased with Allah. Al-Hasan al-Basri, 
rahimahullah, he saw a person around the Kaaba raising his hand and said, Ya Allah, be pleased with me. Ya Allah, be pleased with me. So the man, the Hassan asked the man, he said, are you pleased with Allah? So the man, what do you mean? How can I be pleased with Allah? He said, are you pleased with whatever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala decreed in your life? So we, uh, another sign, if Allah is pleased with us, we have to check ourselves. Are we pleased with whatever Allah decreed? Do we have complete trust that whatever Allah decreed in my life, it is the best thing for me, whether I see it or not? If you are, that's a great sign. That's a great sign that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is pleased with you. I'll give you an example. Let's assume that you are a car salesman. You have your own showroom and you sell cars for a living. How do you feel when you sell 20 cars a week and when you sell no cars a week? If the feeling is the same, if the acceptance is the same, that means you are pleased with the decree of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If you are upset and you start cursing and complaining why there was no sales and you were happy when there was sales, that means you're not pleased with Allah's decree. So when we are happy with the hardship, the same way we are happy with the blessing, that means we are pleased with whatever Allah decreed. That is the second sign. Third sign. Third sign to know if Allah is pleased with us Check your relationship with your parents. Is your father pleased with you? Is your mother pleased with you? I'm talking about a righteous father and a righteous mother that fear Allah Azza wa Jal. Are they pleased with you? If they are, that's a great sign that Allah is pleased with you. Why? What's the evidence? Qala Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Rida al-Rabb. في رضا الوالد وسخط الرب في سخط الوالد The pleasure of Allah عز وجل is by the pleasure of the father and the mother and the anger of Allah عز وجل is by the anger of the father or the mother So if my parents, the, my righteous parents who fear Allah عز وجل are pleased with me they are happy with me, they're always making dua for me that is a sign that Allah is pleased with me Subhanallah so, my brother, my sister, if you have any issues with your parents, make sure you fix them. Make sure uh, you always hear from your mother. Make sure you always hear from your father. Ya Allah, be pleased with my son. You know, one of the most beautiful dua that my mother do, do for me every time before I hang up the phone, she tells me, Allah, Allah, alayk. may Allah be pleased with you. Wallahi, when I hear that, my day is, is made, subhanAllah. So make sure always that your parents are pleased with you. And if you are parents yourself, yourselves, please also make dua that Allah is pleased with your parents, with your children, and you also be pleased with, with your children. So this is the third sign. The fourth and the last sign to know if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala pleased with us is to check how people treat us in this dunya. If the people love you, if the people respect you, if the people honor you huh, all the time and you're a righteous person, that's a sign that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves you and Allah is pleased with you. The hadith is in Bukhari. Rasulullah told us when Allah loves someone, he informs Jibreel. Ya Jibreel, I love so and so, so love him. So Jibreel will love him and Jibreel will notify all the inhabitants of the heaven that Allah loves so and so, so love him. So all the angels will love that person. And then Rasulullah said, uh, acceptance will be put, he will find acceptance on earth. He will find, the person will find acceptance on earth. Imam al-Nawawi, when Rahimahullah, when he's explaining what does it mean to find acceptance on earth, it means that the people will love him and they are pleased with him and their hearts are inclined towards him, subhanAllah. So if you feel people always love you, always mention your name with, with goodness, when they see you, they remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, when they see you, they remember to do something good, that's a great sign that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves you and Allah is pleased with you and he put your love in the people's hearts. 
And I'm talking about, of course, the righteous, the good people. They all love you and they're always praising you. So these are four signs that if we have them, it indicates, inshallah, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is pleased with us. My beloved brothers and sisters, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves you, He calls Angel Jibreel and says about His love to him. And then He spreads it amongst the angels and then the angels spreads it amongst the people of the world and then the people of the world starts loving you so try to get the love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala there are four signs that shows that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is pleased with you number one look what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala kept you busy with when Allah makes it easy for you to perform good deeds that's a great sign that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is happy with you, is pleased with you. So Allah is opening new doors of opportunities to do good deeds. So be happy when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is giving you the chance to do more and more good deeds. And ask yourself if you are pleased with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If you are pleased with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is pleased with you. Then check your relationship between your parents. If you have any sort of quarrel or any sort of problem with your parents, fix it. Try to get their dua. Try to go near to them. Try to bring happiness in their face. Try to make them smile. And you'll see that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will be pleased with you. And number four is to check how people is treating you. If Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves you, then the righteous people will love you as well. People will respect you. People will honor you. And you will be also in the midst of the righteous people. May Allah give us the understanding of this deen. May Allah make us his righteous slaves. May Allah be pleased with us. And may we be pleased with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And may Allah grant us jannat al firdaus al ala Help us build an Islamic studio at www.islamicstudio.org. Link in the description.